Hey there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can short crypto on Binance. So right now I am on their trade dashboard over here. If your trade dashboard looks a little different, what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go over here, hover over it, and right now I am on, a, on full screen. So that's why this here may look a little different from yours. But anyways, right now I am on their trade dashboard and I'm on spot currently. Now, what I'll want to do is then go to cross 3x or isolated 10x. Now, there's a difference between cross 3x and isolated 10x. It's just how the risk is involved with this. So basically, 3x is across your assets, cross is across your assets, but isolated is just for uh, BNB or whichever trade pair it is. Okay, so let's just say for the purpose of this video, I'm going to do cross 3x. So I'll want to click over here. So I'll click on this. And then now it'll bring up some extra features or some additional features. Now, when you are shorting, or margin trading, you have to have collateral that you can put up in case the position goes against you, right? So essentially, when you're margin trading, you are borrowing uh, against a position. So what I'll need to do first is I will need to transfer collateral here because right now I don't have any USDT or uh, BNB. I have nothing against uh, that I can use against any sort of position that I'll be taking on in this video. So I'm going to click on transfer. And what I'm going to do is send all of my BNB over. So I'll click on confirm. And then I will also want to uh, transfer some USDT. So USDT, right over there. And the reason why I'm transferring over my BNB is just so I can use it to pay for the fees. It has nothing to do with actually uh, shorting it. The reason why I'm putting the BNB here is just so it's cheaper in fees when I do place the order. Okay, so now that I'm over here, what I will want to do is I will then need to click on borrow, right? So I will need to borrow BNB to short it because that's what short selling is. You are borrowing it to sell it because you think that you can buy it back at a cheaper price. So essentially you are still uh, buying low and selling high, but it's just the reverse is happening. So you're uh, selling first, selling high first, and then buying back lower, okay? So right now, let's just say I want to short, uh, I don't know, $10 or uh, $15 worth of BNB, right? So I'm going to do 0 0.04, 0 0.04, that's about $11 worth of USDT, right? And then I will have to think about the price that I want to borrow and sell it for. So right now, if I am wanting to sell it at this price, I would put in a limit order. So this is for a limit order of borrowing BNB at uh, this price and selling it. Or what I could do is I could also market execute that sort of order, right? So that's pretty much what the differences are between limit, uh, limit and market are. But for the purpose of this video, what I'm just going to uh, sell uh, or put in a limit order first. So let's just say uh, 50, right? So I put, uh, I think it's going to go up here and then I would click on margin cell BNB, right? So it's on borrow. So then that would, I would then borrow and I've just borrowed some BNB to uh, put in an or a sell order around here. But let's just say I think it's going to go down now and I want to sell it. So I'm just going to do a market borrow uh, USD or BNB sell, All right? So I'm like, same thing, 0 0.4, and I am going to sell it right now. So it'll, and this is a market order, so that means I'm selling it at, at 31. So there we go, market sell. And I've just sold 0.4 BNB, and that means I have a position opened for 0.4 BNB. And that means I have to pay it back regardless of the price. So I have to pay back 0.4 BNB. If it uh, uh, if it goes up, then I lose out on this trade. But if it goes down, or if I'm able to purchase it 
back for cheaper than what I had sold it for, then I will have profited. Okay, so that is this part over here. Now, in terms of closing out the position, what I can either do is I can market buy or I can limit buy, right? So that means I'm buying back the BNB that I've borrowed to then repay it. So what for myself, I usually would do limit orders. So let's just say I think it's going to go to $26. All right, and then I will put in my 0 0.4 BNB, right? And then there we go, right? So as an example, right, that that means I can buy it back at this price. So over here, I'm just going to cancel this because uh, I don't really need that right now. But over here, this means that if it fills, then I get to buy it back at this price. Another thing is you would want to make sure that it's on repay. Now, this is just, I guess, preference, but for myself, I prefer to pay back at the moment I buy it. So this means I pay back the amount that I've borrowed, and that way uh, there's no interest accruing on it. So you can always do normal, but I don't see the point in that because you're going to have to repay the amount back anyways. So uh, normal just means you buy it back and nothing happens. So for myself, I like to re pay it. Yeah. And then in terms of the stops, uh, the stops, you might want to consider putting in some stops as uh, any trader should, uh, especially when you are short trading, because your your potential loss is it's it, it can be pretty bad if you don't set stop limits, right? So uh, over here, you'll want to set a buy stop limit. So after a certain price, let's just say if it goes to the stop is, let's just say, oh, it goes to $29. Uh, uh, oops. If it goes to $29, then I'm going to rebuy that uh, BNB, so 0 0.4, uh, and I will uh, buy it up to $30 worth, right? So that means, and then you'll want to put in that stop order. So this, I'm going to cancel this. And that is my stop order, and I will have it on repay. So again, this means that if the price goes to $29, I'm out of my position, and I'll buy it up to a maximum of $30. So yeah, that's pretty much how you would short on uh, Binance, right? Everything is pretty straightforward in terms of what, what I've just laid out, or I think it's straightforward. Um, when you are... Uh, getting used to crypto or when you're new to this, it definitely can be overwhelming. And so uh, hopefully this video here has helped lay out kind of how to short on Binance. Now, personally, I don't think it's a good idea to short, but to each to their own. But anyways, uh, for myself, I'm just going to close this position out right now because there's no point in me keeping it over here. So again, I will have a market, I just market execute uh, 0 0.4 BNB. So this is, this means that I'm going to repay back what I've borrowed. And there we go. I've just paid, uh, closed out that position. But yeah, anyways, I hope you found this video informative or educational. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you think that there's someone out there who will find this video educational as well, please share it with them. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below because I do check and I do respond. If you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.